Welcome to the Parasite Podcast, a show about me and you. We are Venom. Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Parasite Podcast. And today I actually have a friend of mine from way back when, but I still keep in touch with her and she's always nice enough to pop into our chat sometimes and say hello to me as well and to all of you. This is Angel Rose. Angel, say hello to everybody. Hi guys. <laughs> Angel is uh, is shy, she said, so I will try to, we'll, you know, keep it to the nerdy things that we both love. Um, <laughs> but but uh, Angel, actually, we met years ago, I think, I want to say either 2015 or 2016. Um, I had just started my Twitch channel. I had less than five followers, and I think Angel came in and was like follower number four or five. Like, you were really early on. What, um... How did you find me so quickly? I, were you, do you, because I know you're a Resident Evil fan. Were you just out there looking for Resident Evil content? I think it was playing Resident Evil 4, and I just happened to click on it. Okay, awesome. Oh, yeah, that had just come out, I think, in the HD version. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Um, yeah, and uh, and Angel's been a, f- a friend ever since. Like, she's been uh, watching my Resident Evil streams. We played Resident Evil together, Resident Evil 6, uh, which that playthrough's up on my gaming channel. Uh, if you guys want to see it, I'll put a link to it down below. Uh, but Angel, and you're actually, we'll get into like our favorite Resident Evils and all that and stuff, but uh, but that's one thing I noticed for a while there before some of these remakes came out, you played Resident Evil 6 a lot. Like that was, is that one of your favorite games? No, it's not. Okay. <laughs> we were really good at it though. Um, yeah, we were playing together and I'll be like walking down the alley and I'm like, I, tr- I still play them like horror games. So I'm like going really slow and she like, rolls out and blah, 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 blah. I was like okay all right yeah <laughs> she's awesome <laughs> so she's a good person to have on your team when you're playing Resident Evil 6 um all right so let's kind of start uh back in the beginning cuz with uh w- well, you know like I said I started a Resident Evil channel on Twitch and then I eventually got into some variety gaming and then obviously as you know like just gaming for hours and hours started to wear on my health and stuff so I kind of went away from it uh, for for a time but with you, like you, your love, I watched it grow even more. I know you already had a ton of love for Resident Evil and video games, but now you have your own Twitch channel that has been growing for the last couple of years, and you've passed the 1,000 follower marker, which is so amazing. Um, what What is it about games and Resident Evil that just brings the, the sh- you know, because earlier you said you're a shy person, but yet 1,000 followers on Twitch is amazing. So for such a shy person, what is uh what is it about video games and Resident Evil in particular that brings out your confidence and, and brings out your passion for for that stuff? So I'm trying to think. <laughs> That's okay. Take your time. <laughs> I think it just it's my stress relief. Okay. Stress relief. I think. Yeah. Um with yeah. uh well go ahead, please. It's kinda like I just grew up on video games. Okay. Like from Nintendo to PS4. Okay. What um since you grew up with video games, are there any favorites of yours that kind of kept you go like like because I know some people are like, oh, I grew up with video games, but I stopped playing them for a while and then I came back. What are some games that kept you uh you know stu- you know like locked into video games over the years? Um, Super Mario, which is obvious, but. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it's like the Randy, the Randy, Random City Brothers. Brothers? It is something like that. I can't remember. Okay. It was on the on the Nintendo, then Super Mario. Okay. Brothers. I mean, um, Super Mario World. All right. On the Super Nintendo. Then it probably went to Final Fantasy VIII, and up from there. Nice. Final Fantasy VIII, that's a good one. I know a lot of people out there love either six or seven a lot, um, but I'm like you. I like Final Fantasy VIII a ton. Um, is that uh, is is that a favorite of yours in that franchise, uh, Final Fantasy VIII? Or do you have another one that's a little that you like a little bit more? I like 15 just a little bit more. Okay. All right. But, but eight and 15 and the re- seven remake are my top ones, though. Those are your top three? Yeah, I've uh, I my roommate in California. I watched him play some Final Fantasy 15, and I thought it looked beautiful. I have played Final Fantasy 15, but I've played the pocket version on my phone. 
Uh, and I loved it. I don't know if the story is the exact same, but uh, but I did love the pocket version. I thought it was amazing. Did yeah, you I haven't played the pocket version yet. I'd love it. Yeah, uh, it's it's pretty good. I I mean, the th well, obviously they put the pocket version on consoles now too, which is nice. But um, I had fun playing that on my phone. It was it was really great because you got the first three chapters for free, and then if you wanted to buy the rest of the game, it was like ten bucks. I was like, oh okay, it oh, was wow. it was a good deal. Um, well, I am a big Final Fantasy Tactics fan. Uh, I love Final Fantasy VIII, but Tactics is the one I like a little bit more. Um, have you ever got into mm -hmm. those style of Final Fantasy games? I never played them, but I've seen people play them and I enjoy them. Yeah, it's fun. I um, I mean, it's it's a different, as you know, it's like different than like the turn-based stuff. I mean, it's still turn-based, but it's like, you know, you're kind of set up on like a chessboard, so it, it plays out a little differently. But uh, yeah. the story is, like all Final Fantasy games, it has an amazing story. Um, so before we get into Resident Evil, because I, I, I know I'm going to talk your head off with that. I was I, I, <laughs> Resident Evil shirt today. I was like, yay! Um, but uh, it's to, you know touching on Super Mario and stuff like that, um, and Final Fantasy and other games. Like, what um what is it about like Super Mario? I, I mean, obviously it's super fun, right? Like, I love Mario games. But what is it about those games um, in particular that you like? Like, is it story? Is it gameplay? Is it a combination of everything? I think it's a combination of everything. Okay, awesome. Um, and what what made you want to take that love for video games? Because obviously, when I met you, you had a Twitch channel, so I didn't know you before that. So, but I, I don't think I've ever asked you what made you go. You know what? I know I'm a little shy, but I do love video games. What made you take that leap to like share it and broadcast them and share your passion for video games? I guess to make friends. You like the same thing as I do. Yeah, sweet. That's very, exactly. That's why I do it too. I love it. And I'm glad I made you as a friend. You're an awesome friend. No, you're so sweet. <laughs> You've been really cool. Like you're very encouraging. That's what I like about you. Like you'll 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 play your streams and then in between your streams, you'll pop into other people's streams. You're very encouraging. Um you, you if, if they're stuck somewhere, like I know I've been stuck on a couple of Resident Evil games, I'll be like, I don't know what to do. And you're like, Well, if you do this, like on six, like I don't I don't know what I'm doing on a Resident Evil Six. I don't know what I know I don't like the story of the game. But because I don't like the story, I never bothered to get good at the game. Um, and But so I'll be like stuck on parts. And that's why I was so great teaming up with you. Because you're like, go this way. Go that way. Go do this. You know, roll. Hide behind that. I'm like, oh, that's I like, I was like, hey, how do I do this? You're like, jump over the cart. Do this. I was, it was pretty, it's pretty awesome to play a game with you, especially Resident Evil. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> And you have, well, and again, before we get full on into Resident Evil, we both have pets, and you always are so nice. You're like, hey, give Echo a scratch for me. Tell Echo I love him. Um, how are your animals doing? I know you have cats. Uh, could you tell us their names and uh, how long you've had your cats? Well, <clears throat> my cat Angel passed away in like two or three years ago. Yeah. From cancer. So we just put her, put her down. Then I left my roommate's house. We got into a big fight, but it is what it is type thing. I took the cats because he was being abusive to them. Oh. So I just took them, moved back home. So their names are Trister, Stormy. Stormy and, and Twister. Yeah, so. Well, I'm no. I, I do want to say I'm sorry you had to go through that. That's that's terrible. But I'm glad you're in a better place now, and I'm glad you're taking care of those animals. That's really good that you're doing that. So now we rescue two, uh, three kittens from a grandma's house. Yeah. Well, well, apartments. Huh? And my uncle took one. We was going to give them the other two to the intimate shelter. Okay. But we ended up deciding to keep them at the last second. Okay. So their names are Elsa and Anna. Elsa and Anna? Yep, from Frozen. Yeah, that's great. Awesome. I know. Sometimes they're like, that's with Echo. Like when I got Echo, I was only supposed to watch him for the weekend. And then on Monday after Thanksgiving, I was supposed to, we were supposed to find him a new home. And by Monday came and I, they were like, hey, why didn't you bring Echo to work? We're going to find him a home today. And I said, yeah, I want to keep them. <laughs> I was like, I, I fell in love with them, so I left them at home, so I wouldn't, so I wouldn't, uh, you guys wouldn't take them away from me. Um, 
So I know what that's like. Uh, so, uh, but I'm gl I'm glad to hear that uh, you and the animals are in a better place, and that they got new. Uh, you know, they got Anna and Elsa got new sisters. That's pretty great. Um, so let's dive into Resident Evil because I I love talking about Resident Evil, and I had Goldheart in the last episode, and we nerded out like big time. Um, so with Resident Evil. Let's start with your favorite one, because that's my favorite, like, dumb question I ask every Resident Evil fan. What Resident Evil fan, uh, Res what Resident Evil game is your favorite as a fan? The both, um, Resident Evil 2 versions, the PS1 version and the PS4. Okay, awesome. So, okay, so you like Resident Evil 2, um, both versions, the original and the remake. Mm -hmm. What are your favorite things about the original like what what are the things that really locked you into the original when you first played it the storyline it's got a great story you're right uh do yeah, are you it's kind of cheesy but sure but it, like in a good way like a good horror be cheesy way yeah um exactly that's cool well do you have a favorite character you play as like a leon or claire or do you just love them both i'm more of a leon fan Okay. But I do, but I do like both of them. Okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I, see, I'm more of a Claire fan, but I also, I like both of them. They're great. Um, yeah. And that, so with uh, Resident Evil 2, like what I liked about it when I uh, played it a couple years ago for the first time, post aneurysm, was it reminded me a lot of movies I was watching around that time, which was uh, the George Romero zombie movies, like Dawn of the Dead and stuff, the classic ones. Mm -hmm. And uh, I loved uh, the idea of boarding up a police station and then it, it it's still getting overrun by zombies. I'm like, how terrifying. Like a place where you're supposed to feel safe to an extent gets completely overrun by zombies. So having played the original and, and loving it, um, what are some like elements? Like I know you love the story, but did you like... Um, you know, because they had that cool zapping system where if you unlocked part of a door in one game, you could unlock the other part in Claire's game. Yeah. Like, did you, would, did that add, like, to the pl replayability of the game for you? I think so. Yeah? More, yeah. What is your, uh, f like, how many times do you think you've beaten Resident Evil 2, the original one? <laughs> over 100 times. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome yeah that's a good answer too that shows that you're a hardcore fan uh same i think i've beat it like over 100 times probably um so th now having said that then about res evil 2 remake because obviously the zapping system didn't really work out like that in the remake but it yeah. sounds like it didn't take away from your enjoyment at all so what were some things in the remake that they added or even if they took it away, that you still didn't mind because you still like the experience. Like, what are some of your favorite things about the remake? I actually found it more scarier. Yeah, I agree. That 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 whole scene with Leon at the beginning and like, and you're like, because they did the demo of it, and he's like going under the thing. It's pitch dark. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was scared out of my mind. <laughs> yeah, I usually don't get scared in games. <laughs> right, and you play all the Res Evil games, and yet even playing the remake you're still like uh, uh yeah that's mm -hmm. cool that is so cool and, and you being a leon fan how did you like their interpretation of them in the remake did you find it very faithful yeah i think they did a good job yeah. i think right, the character itself the looks i kind of didn't like it but it is what it is oh gotcha you you said the look you didn't like too much yeah i didn't like the honest look Okay, gotcha, gotcha. But it grew on you because the, the the game was still fun overall. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I get like that too sometimes because I, I think was it Res Evil Five? Certainly, Chris had a different look than we were used to, and uh, I was like, oh my god, Chris has been working out. <laughs> but I I still played it. I mean, Five. I I prefer to play Res Evil Five with a friend. Um, mm -hmm. When you rely on the AI of either Sheva or Chris, like whichever one you're not playing as. It's a night. It's horrendous. Yeah, it's a nightmare. Yes, absolutely. That's Every so professional. <laughs> yeah. Oh my, oh my God. Beating that game alone on professional is one of the hardest things I've ever done in my life. And I've been through surgeries that are people would probably argue are tougher. But I'm telling you, Resident Evil Five professional alone, very, very tough. Yes, it's very tough. <laughs> yeah. Um, you now, you I know will challenge yourself like that. You will play all the Resident Evil games like you're braver than I am. There's some Resident Evil games that I have beaten on professional and harder modes before, probably when they first came out. 
But in the HD versions and the newer versions, when they re-release them, mm -hmm. I have not even tried most of them in harder difficulties past normal. But you do. Like, what is it about that challenge? Like, that you know, are is it something you're just like, I want to see if I can do it, or you just you know you can do it, and you just you want to show everyone you can do it. And uh, just show everybody I can do it. Yeah, you're awesome at it. You got great scores on that game, and you got great speed runs. Uh, like, like because I'm not very. It's weird. Like I've I've beaten the game some of them fast, but I wouldn't call mine speed runs. But I saw on your Instagram you posted you got an S plus ranking for Resident Evil Two Remake. You beat it in like an hour and nine minutes. I'm like, holy crap! That's a that's freaking super fast. Yep. <laughs> um, Claire A standard is actually one oh six forty one. Really? Oh yeah. wow. Okay, one oh six forty one. Okay. Do you, so I I'm guessing because you've played the original and the remake so many times, you know both games by heart probably. Uh, probably not the original. No, okay. Since okay. I haven't played it in like ten years. <laughs> oh sure, right. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> well, now we got this remake, and and like the Resident Evil One remake, same thing. Like I could go back and play Resident Evil One. I have two versions of it. I have the the original PlayStation version. I have the DualShock version. Um, but I also have the Nintendo DS version, Silent Deadly Silence, mm -hmm. um, and I, I've not ever gone back and played those because I love the Resident Evil 1 remake so much. Um, are you a fan of, of Resident Evil 1 in that way at all? Like, have you beaten both numerous times as well? I'm playing the director's cut okay. multiple times, but I, never, I just recently beat the remastered on the PS4. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I'm a slacker. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, you got. I mean, you 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 say you're a slacker, but you've beaten Resident Evil Two like thirty thousand times. So, uh, so yeah, you're true. clearly not slacking. <laughs> uh, you're just trying to save Raccoon City, and that's uh, that's admirable. Um, and plus, you love Leon, so it makes sense you play that one a lot. So with uh with Resident Evil One, like um. Are you a fan of either of those characters? Like, do you like Jill or Chris, or is Leon just your all-time favorite of all the games? I like Jill. I don't particularly like Chris that much. <laughs> oh, my heart. <laughs> <laughs> I'm such a Redfield fan. I love Chris and Claire so much, but I still love Jill and Leon and all the others. Um, you know, I talked a little bit about this with, um, with Goldheart because she actually has a soft spot for uh, Operation Raccoon City. Are there any Resident Evil games outside of the just the numbered ones, like Resident Evil 0 through 8? Is there any Resident Evil games outside of those that you're a big fan of or that you have a guilty pleasure for? I would say Kavraka, even though I never technically played it yet. Oh, really? Just because I just like, always enjoy watching other people play it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think you were there when I streamed it. Um, I guess that makes sense because... It it stars both Chris and Claire, which is great for me. But you're kind of you're probably like, well, where's Leon? <laughs> which is cool. no. I mean, I I mean, I understand that they couldn't put Leon in it. Sure. Well, they do mention. But him. I heard exactly. At least they mention him. You know. Yeah, you got to mention him. I mean, he's too cool not to mention. It's a. It must be tough sometimes making these games because. Like Leon is such an icon to that franchise now. Um, I've I've learned a lot about the fandom of Leon because we have the Resident Evil remake uh, movie coming out, and I've already seen a lot of like feedback from fans about the you know the guy playing Leon in that movie and how he doesn't look like Leon. So it's it's I didn't realize Leon's look was like meant that much to people. Is that something for you too? Like when you think of Leon, is it not just the character, but because earlier you mentioned about the Resident Evil 2 remake look of him, so is that something you like done accurately? Do you like the look of Leon? I mean, I am. I always go back and forth. Okay. Type of thing. Is that one minute? I really don't care about the movie looks. I'm not. Is the game itself is keep Leon how he is? Type of thing. I really don't care about the movies. They're just movies. Sure, that's true. It's like an alter mm -hmm. universe, right? It doesn't really mm -hmm. change the games at all. Um, so, but I was saying, like, uh, it must be tough because, like, when they did like the Avengers, I remember afterwards, 
it's like, okay, now we got to make a solo Captain America movie and a solo Iron Man movie. How do you not include the Avengers in it? And I'm sure it's like that for Res Evil. They're like, oh, we're making Res Evil 7 and 8. How do we not include Leon? He's so popular. Um, is that something that you, you know, I know it, the stories work the way they are, but is that something when you play Res Evil 7 and 8, do you like, do you hope, did you hope Leon would show up in any, either of those games or at least get mentioned? At least get mentioned. Okay. Fair enough. Um, you I, just you know, with all them, like, even with Jill, Rebecca, Claire. Yeah. At least just mention their names, you know? Sure. Yeah. We want to know what, where they're at, what's going on with them. You know, um, we get the animated movies. I know sometimes do you watch those since those are kind of considered lore of the, the games? I actually have pretty much all Resident Evil movies except for Damnations. Oh, really? You you have all but Damnation, huh? Yes. We got to get That's you. That's the only one I have not. <laughs> when's your, when's your birthday? Name, right? What's that? Huh? Sorry. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. What were you saying? That's the only one I don't have a physical copy for. Oh, uh, gotcha. Okay. Well, let me know when your birthday is. I will have to buy you a copy of Damnation and send it to you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that way you can have it in physical form. Um, yeah, someone oh. bought someone bought me a box set. It has all three. Um, it had all three movies in it. Um, so uh, I, I actually I got a surprise for you. What's that? I got a surprise for you. Oh, a surprise, huh? Well, it's not a big surprise, but okay. <laughs> okay, I think you might remember this. Hey, look at that. <laughs> That's so amazing. I still got mine too. That's so cool. So for those of you out there who are like, what is she showing? Um, that is a stuffed animal liquor. And um, I'm, I, I don't think I'm still allowed to talk about what I did. But basically what happened was I was able to go to San Francisco and um, check out a demo for Resident Evil 7 before anyone else. Uh, it was called Lantern Demo. Um, and we got to we got to play it like in front like they just put us at the front of the line and then they let other people play it after us. But I got picked along with a couple other people to play it first, and they hooked us up with all this like uh, cool swag and stuff, and uh, and it was awesome. And so I had a chance to buy an extra one of those liquors, and I said, you know what, I'm going to buy this and give it away as a gift to someone. And that's right, you won that. Um, we did a giveaway on the channel. That's so cool. Thanks for keeping it all these years. He looks great. His brain looks nice and shiny. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Is that uh, is that one of your favorite monsters? Because I know you're a Resident Evil 2 fan. Are you a fan of liquor? Yes, it's literally my favorite creature from Resident Evil, from Resident Evil series. Awesome! Out of all of them, all the games, huh? Yep. That, that's so cool. That's something I didn't talk too much about with uh, Goldheart. Is the monsters like my favorite monster is Lisa Trevor. I I love that character. Um, I like the yes. Yeah, she's amazing. I love her backstory. It's so tragic. Um, what are some, besides Licker and Lisa, like what, any other monsters st uh, stand out to you that you like, uh, in the game universe? I think maybe Mr. X from the yeah. remake. Yeah. Oh, specifically that one, huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's cool. Because the first, the first time I saw him, I'm like, this is what Edward gets scared of. <laughs> <laughs> My first thought after that is like, Oh, hi, Thanos. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. He's like Thanos with two Infinity Gauntlets on. <laughs> yeah. He's a... Uh, I remember uh, uh, pl when I played the remake, um, that was one of the things I think they did the best in that game was anytime mm -hmm. you heard his footsteps, like, I would stop. I would stop moving. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, where is he? Where is he? I would try to listen. I'm like, okay, sounds like he's in the next room. I'm going to go this way. Like, <laughs> uh, but you're right. It added to the fear of that game, which was very effective. Um, Definitely. Speaking of remakes then, so we talked about Resident Evil 1 remake and 2 remake. This is a remake I'm not a big fan of, but I'd love to hear your thoughts. Um, what were your thoughts on the Resident Evil 3 remake? Did you end up liking that version of the game? I liked it because it's more my style of gameplay. Sure, yeah, yeah. But... 
I thought the Andy just was so bad. Oh, the ending? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're just kind of like, oh, okay. Sure. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I, I when Nemi... Yeah. Go ahead. Sorry. Especially with the final Nemi. Oh, yeah. Especially yeah. with the final Nemi. I'm just like, but this is it. <laughs> right. Yeah, right. That's what I felt like that too. I was like, oh, okay. Um, all right. <laughs> Do you, uh, with you, because, okay, so here's a good one then. Because I was, uh, I played Resident Evil Village when it came out. Um, I had my surgery the, the week after, or no, I had my surgery the week before it came out. So when the when it came out, I was on bed rest, I think. And I, I can't remember which order. But anyway, I played the game. I liked Village. One thing I noticed about Village, though, was I felt like there was a lot of elements in there that could get reused for a Resident Evil 4 remake. Um, now, I know there's been mm -hmm. rumors about it, but I don't know if anything's confirmed. Is Resident Evil 4 something you would like to see remade with those that style of gameplay from Resident Evil 2 and 3 remake? Definitely. That, I think that would make it a whole lot better. Yeah, yeah, because I feel like that game, when I play the HD version, it, it feels a little dated and a little uh, blocky. Um, I think it could benefit, you're right, um, from that. Uh, the only thing is, is that Resident Evil 4, how fast can you beat that game? Because it still takes me like 30 days to beat that game. It takes me forever. I mean, if I really sit down and do it, probably like 16 tops. Okay. If not less than that. Okay. That's for me, that's super fast because I, I think I I think it I take forever. I don't know what it is about that game. I cannot beat it in less than like, you know, 12 hours. I can't do it. Um with uh with a remake, do you think because Resident Evil 2 kind of shortened a little bit the story, Resident Evil 3 definitely shortened the story. Do you have any worries that if they remade four that they would cut out stuff that you like from the story? Mm, like one percent worried. Okay, so not too worried. But I'm not too worried. Okay, because I think for you, like I know you love the story, but you also really do like that gameplay. Um, and you're darn good at it. Like ever, like I said, well, I mentioned you in Resident Evil Six, but I've seen your playthroughs of two and like your in your you know three playthrough. Um, and you said you just played one recently. Like you're good at these games. Like uh, I can see why you love them so much because it's not just that, um, that there's a great story to it, but I think it brings out a confidence in you. Like, I think you, you, when you play these games, you are a total badass, if you don't mind me saying. <laughs> <laughs> um, Echo, what's that? Okay, Echo has a question. Um, in Resident Evil <laughs> Village, uh, he says there's uh, the Lady D. She's like the, you know, the tall lady or whatever. Um, she moves the way... Um, uh, the the I, I can't remember his name. Um, Mendez or the the tall guy in Resident Evil Four with the eye that you pull out. Um, she kind of moves like him. So I was thinking, uh, and I guess Echo had the same thought. Do you think that some of those assets for some of the characters we saw in in, in Eight could translate to characters like that? Because she, her being tall and having the one claw, that's kind of something he had in Resident Evil uh, Four. So do you when you play games like Village? Um, knowing that after seven, they were able to take assets and remake Resident Evil two and three with those assets. When you played Village, were you looking for things to, to in hopes that um, they could be used for other remakes, or do you just kind of immerse in what the story they give you? Kind of much what the story they give you. Okay, so you, you're you're not going too much outside of that. You're just like, hey, I want to play this. So with that in mind, did you play Village, and how many times have you played Village? And did you like Village? I played Village once, but I'm working on my second playthrough. I'm okay. normal. <laughs> right. Because I'm a chick I'm a chick at first. <laughs> right. But All yeah. Right. The first half it was really good, but the second half I was like, nah. And the second just yeah. felt kind of boring a little bit towards the end of it. I feel yeah. I actually um I feel this, that's funny. I feel the exact same way. I, uh, I, I like the first half because it's, you know, you got, um, the haunted house with the doll at one point. Um, 
And then you got the uh, the castle, which is a great setting, which hopefully they reuse a lot of that for Resident Evil 4 if they remake 4. Um, mm-hmm. But you're right. I think once they start getting into the fish guy and the um, the big industrial factory at the end with Heisenberg, I kind of tune out. I actually it, I get through those levels as fast as I possibly can when I replay the game. Um, with that said, if they make a Resident Evil 9, what do you hope they do with it that, you know, that learning from Resident Evil 7 and 8, like what would your feedback be to for 9? Like which characters would you like to see and what kind of, um, you know, would you like the story to start off a little slow and build to something bigger? Or, you know, how would you like that play? What are your kind of like fan hopes for Resident Evil 9? Kind of slow, but not as like slow though okay but more like more scary more bloody gore scary okay. jump scares sweet and um I, knew, I didn't think seven or eight was scary <laughs> okay fair enough gotcha and now is that because does the first person work for you or do you like it more like uh the resident evil 2 and 3 remakes where it's third person I uh, both ways. Okay, okay. So that didn't affect the scariness. It was just the, no. the overall the the overall story didn't scare you that much. Yeah, the overall story didn't scare me. Okay, fair enough. I mean, yeah, the Resident Evil Eight. I think uh, well, Seven was interesting because I've actually known people who have had um, molds grow in them, and they've had to have surgeries to get it out. So I that always kind of creeped me out about Resident Evil Seven. Um, but Resident Evil Eight, I agree. I, I I don't feel like I was ever scared, scared, just overwhelmed. Like, okay, werewolves are like, they take more than like a couple pistol bullets to put down, you know, and uh, and this big monster comes out and it takes more than, you know, a shotgun to put down. I just felt like they went overwhelming with the enemies as opposed to scary. And so uh, so I agree with you on that one. I, I hope they, whatever that is, they bring it back to scary. Obviously, I'm sure a lot of people, yourself included, would probably like to see something with Leon. Um, if uh, but Leon again, I like I said with the Avengers thing, I feel like it's tough sometimes with these characters because Chris and Jill and Leon in particular and Claire, they've seen everything. I, I imagine it's hard to put them in a scenario where they're actually scared. But I also think that uh, without doing like remakes of two and four and stuff, but I would like to see them try because if you can make Leon, who's an expert everything now, uh, worked for the president, awesome soldier, awesome everything. If you could put him in a story that scares him, I think you might have the scariest Resident Evil game out there. Um, what yes. do, you, do you think so too? I think they should bring Leon and Jill together somehow. Good idea. I like that idea. It, they don't. So you got Chris and Claire. Yes, I like Ada. I mean, she's my favorite female character, but. I just, want, I just want to see some, a new pair, like Jill and Neon. That would be great, because besides like some mercenaries modes, we've never really seen them together like that, and it would be so awesome to come up with a story that involves those two. I think you're right. I think that would be fantastic. And if they can squeeze in like Rebecca or throw in any other characters from the older games, mm-hmm. uh, that would be great too. So outside of... I guess like one thing I think is missing from the newer Resident Evil games is zombies. Like, do you do you still find zombies scary, and do you wish those would return to the Resident Evil universe? I Man, I don't find zombies scary, but I want them to return. Okay, fair enough. So not they don't. Scare what is, yeah. To me, that's what Resident Evil is all about: is zombies. Okay, fair enough. I'm hoping because in Resident Evil 8, they introduced, um, they brought the BSAA back and they sent in zombie soldiers like that they could, you know, remote control program or whatever. Um, I'm hoping that means we'll get uh, some cool zombie stuff in the next Resident Evil game. But uh, mm-hmm. I guess, yeah, time will tell. But I, that would be awesome. If we got like trained zombie soldiers that are programmed by somebody, I think that could be kind of cool and scary. Yes. <laughs> um outside of like since you know like you said zombies you don't really find scary do you ever watch like do you watch zombie movies do you like horror movies or is like resident evil kind of how you you know like how, 
like how you approach both fandoms. Like, are you like, oh, I, I don't really like zombies outside of Resident Evil, or I don't like horror movies outside of Resident Evil. Is is that how you are, or do you like horror and zombies in general? Oh, I love all of it t- together. Yeah, you like it all. all I'm a it? big, I'm a big horror person. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Well, you were saying earlier you want the games to get scarier, so that does make a lot of sense. <laughs> um, awesome. Um, and then lastly, uh. Since there is a new Resident Evil movie coming out, and like you said, you've already uh, uh, mentioned that it's it's a new universe, it's different. There's a TV show coming out. There's Infinite Darkness that just came out recently. Um, there's a new manga that's coming out soon that ties into Infinite Darkness. Do you, as a Resident Evil fan, like do you just go like, hey, even if I don't like it, I love that there's so much Resident Evil stuff out there, or are you particular? Do you only like specific things done with the Resident Evil franchise and brand? I'm kind of, I'm kind of both. Okay. Like, with the main, like, Jill, Chris, and the Aunt Claire, it's like, <laughs> how should I say this? It's like, I want to keep the focus on them, not okay. just like Alice was, you know? Sure, sure. Yeah, I mean, um, yeah, I know, like, the TV show that's coming out is, is about Wesker, and his daughters. So that's like a completely different story. Um, and then the new movie coming out is actually about those four. It's, it's Leon, Jill, Chris, and uh, Claire, and they're the four main characters of the movie. And somehow they're going to combine the story of Resident Evil one and two together. But does that make you excited for that movie? Um, or does that make you worried about that movie to combine those two stories? No, I think it, c- it could be done if it's, yeah. If they do correctly, do it right, you know. I agree. No, I, that's that's what I've been saying on my show too. I'm like, I feel like those two stories could work together, but it does. It's going to take some finesse, and that's for sure. The downside is we probably won't get to see all the monsters we love. So I I know Lisa Trevor's in the movie, but I don't think there's a Mister X or a Tyrant in the movie, and that's a little bit of a shame. Yeah. Yeah. There's always a trade off, right? <laughs> Yep, there's always pros and cons. Well, the one thing we definitely need, and you'll probably agree with me on this, we need more liquor merch. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we had a Funko Pop, and we had that doll, that the the, the um, you know stuffed animal. But we need more. We need liquor T-shirts. We need we need everything. Liquor lunch boxes. Everything. Oh, there he is again. <laughs> <laughs> ah, he's got to drop down from the ceiling. <laughs> Um, that's cool. Hopefully that moment is in the, in the new movie. That would be great. Um, all right. Well, um, I actually echo, do you have any more questions? No, he's, he's like, I just had the Resident Evil village question. (laughs) (laughs) Um, well, obviously, uh, Angel, you know, it's, it meant a lot to me that, uh, you were available to do this. And I know I've been behind. I, I wanted to record this with you and, um, Goldheart back in like June, I think it was, or even before that. And I still want to, cross streams with you on Twitch at some point and play a Res Evil game with you. Um, mm-hmm. it, with a lot of stuff going on, I have, haven't been able to juggle everything as well as I would like, but, uh, but the fact that we got to make this happen today, it means a lot. And, uh, and I, I was, it's so cool to talk to someone I've known for so long and get this kind of interaction because normally I'll be streaming and you're in the chat or you're streaming, you know, it's like, we don't get to talk like this and it's, uh, it's yeah. so nice. It's so nice to do it. It, it meant a lot to me that you took the time. Yeah, same here. <laughs> awesome. And uh, shy or not, you did great tonight. I thought you were awesome. It was fun talking to you. <laughs> and you're at some best. point, oh, you're the best. And, and at some point, we'll definitely have to uh, do the the video game stream. Um, once I think once Venom finally comes out, the movie's been delayed a year, and it completely I'm threw off. I oh yeah, you're excited, right? Um, mm-hmm. uh, did you like the first Venom movie? Yes, I loved it. I uh, even owned the physical copy of it. <laughs> oh, man, that shows commitment and love right there. That's for sure. Um, are you going to go see the new one next week? Or you, or uh, have you got your ticket yet? Or are you still deciding what day you're going to go? Uh, I'll probably just wait until it comes on DVD. Because I don't like being out a lot of people. <laughs> I'm with you. Like, it's funny because uh, I've been to two movies during the pandemic and both times I was like a wreck. I was like sitting in the theater just like, like, <laughs> like mm-hmm. I'm, not, I'm not doing too good. And when movies get loud, that hurts my ear. Um, 
So yeah, I'm, a little, I'm a little concerned seeing Venom uh, with a, you know, probably a packed crowd next week. But at the same time, I know if, if, if I don't go see it, I know running my YouTube channel, people will spoil everything for me. So I'm like, yeah, oh, yeah I guess so I'm like, oh, well, I guess I'll, I'll risk my life and <laughs> go see the movie. Um, but that's cool. No, I, I, that's great that you're waiting and, uh, and being safe. And I know there are other people out there that are doing the same. So um, I, I can't wait for you to see it, though. Hopefully nothing too major gets spoiled for you before you get to see it. I'm going to try to not talk about spoilers for as long as I can uh, on the channel. So, um, But if I do, I'll make sure to put a spoiler warning on the thumbnail and in the title description so you know not to, and you and others know not to watch it for sure. Um, cool. Cool. Well, um, good. Well, then maybe next time I'll have to have you on again and hear your thoughts on the Venom movie after you see it. Uh, so if you're down to give me like a five minute review in a couple or like two months or whenever you get to watch them DVD and Blu-ray, we'll talk again then if you're cool with that. Yeah, that's cool. Awesome. Yeah, I'd love to have your thoughts on that. Um, well, thank you for being here again. And everyone who's watching this, I have a link to her uh, Twitch channel. Um, and if you want, I can put your Instagram down there uh, if that's okay with you. Sure. Yeah, awesome. So, guys, please follow Angel. She's an amazing person, as you can tell. Um, big fan of a lot of things, but, you know, loves horror, loves Resident Evil, loves Venom. So she's clearly the coolest person in the world. And uh, her links are down below, so please go follow her on uh, on Twitch. You know, let's get her up to, if we can, if anyone's watching this and this gets more views, let's try to get her to 1,500 followers because you're, you're at 1,300 right now. But I would love to see you keep climbing and uh, and keep doing so well over there. It's it's really cool to see you grow like that. Oh, thank you so much. Are you, yeah. I can't mean just being here with you. It's just like oh my goodness, I finally have a social person. <laughs> to talk to. That's uh oh, I know the feeling, and uh, I noticed that like while we were talking, it got it became nighttime in both of our sides. So I noticed like the lights behind us just went. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so that's awesome. I just, I was looking at that. I'm like, oh my God, it's getting dark on both of our ends. Um, awesome. Well, Angel, again, I, I can't thank you enough. It was amazing talking to you. We'll definitely do this again after you see the Venom movie. And everyone, go check out our links. They're down below. Become friends with her. She's amazing. And check out her streams. They are so much fun. And she's super awesome at Resident Evil. <laughs> and she's shy. <laughs> but I'm telling you, when you watch her play those games, she's so confident and she's a badass. So definitely check those out. Um, any last words before we go? I hope everyone has um, a fun day, night, and staying strong no matter what you guys are going through. And stay positive no matter what. That's awesome. But very wise words from a very awesome person. So you guys do that. And thank you so much for watching the show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And we'll see you all in the future. Peace.